One of the most difficult things to master when you're first learning to crochet is how to hold your yarn and get that tension just right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to hold your hook and how to hold your yarn so you can get consistent chains and consistent crochet stitches. I'll show you how I do it first and then I'll give you a few other options and stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you a few cheap methods in case none of these options are working and you're just getting really frustrated. So when I hold my crochet hook, I hold it in my right hand because I'm right handed. And the way I hold my crochet hook is similar to how you would hold a knife, except I don't put my hand all the way around like I would be cutting with a knife. I actually just touch my fingertips onto the hook and then hold from there. So my pinky is all the way down, but my index finger is resting on my thumb. And I feel like this gives me more control, but don't feel like there's any right or wrong way to hold your hook. So do whatever's comfortable for you. Another way to hold your hook is to hold it like a pencil. You can actually hold it like this and also crochet, but that feels really weird to me. <laughs> so I don't ever hold it like that, but it is an option. Now on the other side, you want to hold your yarn. You want to use this hand, the, your non-working hand for tension. What I do is I take my yarn and put it in between my index finger and my ring finger and put it all the way down and then close my fingers up. When I close them up, it creates a little bit of tension in that yarn where it's a little bit harder to pull. So let me show that in action. So I have, have my fingers squeezed together and I almost overlap them a little bit if I want that tension really tight. And then as I want it looser, I loosen it up just a little bit. So it just kind of glides in between those two fingers. So I know this way isn't for everybody. So another way you can do it is I see a lot of people wrap it around their pinky, but I've tried that and it doesn't really seem to work for me. So when I'm trying to crochet something a little bit tighter, I wrap it around my middle finger. So I take it how I would and put it in between my index and my middle finger and then wrap it around my middle finger and then wrap it all the way around and pull it up to the top of my hand and then put it over my index finger. And that creates a little bit more tension. And then I still do that thing where I overlap my fingers and that helps me create a little bit tighter crochets. This would be good if you are tend to make your crochets a little bit too loose. So if you do want to try the pinky method, that's pretty much the same thing. What I did is just you wrap it around your pinky instead of your middle finger. So you would take it and put it in between your ring finger and your pinky finger, wrap it around and go up and above all these other fingers. And then you would use this finger, and you would just point with this finger so that way it doesn't come off as you're crocheting. For me, I feel like that gets too tight, so I don't do it that way. There's also a method where you could wrap it through your fingers like this. This gives you extra control, but that is like way too tight for me to be crocheting. Another thing you want to remember is make sure you have some yarn that's pulled out of your yarn ball. Otherwise you're going to be pulling on this and that's going to create more tension for you. So it's much easier to have a little bit of yarn out and then you create your own tension, not your yarn ball. So let me show you some of my cheat methods in case wrapping around your fingers is not working for you. So when I first started crocheting, I couldn't get that tension right either. And what I did was I just took my index finger and squeezed it down like this. And then I would just squeeze that together to create my tension. Now I don't recommend this long term because your finger will start to cramp up and it will not be comfortable. So this is just like a cheat method for when you're first starting out and you really want to start crocheting, but you just can't get it right. So you can at least practice your stitches. And then once you start getting the hang of that, then you could try 
a real method of, of holding your yarn. Another cheap method, which ends up being really slow, but at least you can try out how to crochet, is just using your fingers and draping the yarn over and then holding it with your fingers and pulling it through. So this method is gonna be really slow But again, it'll give you a little bit of practice with your stitches, and then you can advance onto an actual tension method. Another method that I discovered is this tension ring. And I made a video on this, so I'll put a link in the description below. What you do is you put this on your finger, your index finger here, and then you can loop your yarn around your ring like this and use that as your tension. And then you just hold your finger out and let the ring do the work. Now you don't even have to have a tension ring to be able to use a tool like this. You can actually use any type of ring that has an opening and then just put it underneath. Make have the opening up here and then use the bottom of the ring as long as it doesn't have anything crazy that the yarn is going to get hooked on. And you can just use your tension ring like that. And if the tension is a little too loose, like I feel like it's kind of loose, you can squeeze your ring together, and make it a little tighter. And one more bonus tip on tension. So you have your yarn in between your fingers to create tension or however you want to do it, but you also want to make sure you have some fingers that are holding your yarn down as you crochet. So you notice how I, I can pull this down a little bit and then this tightens up and then I can chain a little bit better. And as you go, you don't wanna to go too far away from these fingers. So maybe three chains and then come back up and hold it real close to where you're crocheting at and you'll have more control over it. And also use this finger as a guide. So if you feel like it's going coming down too far, your yarn is going to come off. So just pull it up. And then if it's too loose, just pull this back. I really hope some of the tips in this video were helpful for you. And if they were, please give me a thumbs up. And I want to encourage you to not give up because it takes time and practice to get this tension thing just right. But it'll be worth it in the end because you'll be able to make some really cool crochet projects. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.